Police all over Metro Detroit this afternoon must be getting really frustrated with the sudden epidemic of clown related complaints from residents. One of the more serious incidents took place in Brownstown. As you can tell from this photograph, police say this guy right there wearing a clown mask walked into a Walgreens with a pistol and held up the clerk. The clown also threatened two customers on his way out before driving off in his blue Impala. Priya Mann is following that story and other clown disturbances. And Priya, this is getting frustrated, frustration for many local departments. Well, Karen, on the one hand, police have seen a spike in so-called clown sightings. A lot of them turn out to be bogus. But on the other hand, a man dressed as a clown walked into this Walgreens and robbed the place with a gun. And law enforcement officials are concerned about the escalating violence involving people dressed as clowns. Tuesday evening, a young boy in Sterling Heights was cut by a man dressed as a clown. The boy said the man had a butter knife and dragged it across his arm. Shortly after the boy was injured, two women called Sterling Heights police. They say three men in clown masks lunged at them. The women told police they ran away when the men waved baseball bats at them. The incidents have law enforcement officials concerned about the escalating violence. If somebody in a clown mask were to approach somebody very quickly and bring something up in their hand that's mistaken, for a weapon uh, and that person's armed, yes, they could, they could shoot that person. And whether it be rightful or not is, is going to be something determined after the fact. Knock it off. Crime is a crime. A criminal is a criminal. If you go out and you engage in criminal activity, we're going to find you and arrest you. Over the weekend, this video was posted to Twitter and shared thousands of times. It shows a creepy clown standing in a car wash waving at the camera. It was recorded in Clinton Township. And just today, Brownstown police released this surveillance video. At gunpoint, a man wearing a clown mask robbed a Walgreens Tuesday night. I think it's some kind of a shock factor, some kind of phenomenon that one person reads it and then they, they're seeing that they're getting some uh, press and then they, of course, want to jump in on the, uh, the shock value. And we've also seen a spike in Twitter accounts with clown related handles. In fact, Troy police commented on one such account saying, please consider that the folks you are targeting may feel threatened and defend themselves and be careful not to break any laws. Trespassing and harassing clowns will be arrested. So the bottom line here is if you see someone dressed as a clown and you feel a legitimate threat to your safety, call police. Reporting live from Brownstown, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right, thank you, Priya.